Sudah sini semuanya lagi sana It's been exactly a week since I last studied and my final is in four days. To give you a better picture of the state of procrastination I'm in right now, it's 6.30. I didn't sleep all night. I meant to study, but instead I crocheted. But I think that's gonna be enough because I have great news to share with you guys. On Thursday, I went to school and picked up my midterm and I got 13 out of 30, which sounds incredibly bad because it's not a good grade, but the average was 12.2. Therefore, I am above average. If things keep going the way they've been going so far, I am gonna get a B in this class, which sounds insane, considering that in theory, I failed the midterm, but I'm not questioning engineering. I'm not questioning ELEC grading. I'm accepting it and using this as a boost of confidence going into my final. Things can only go up from here. Oh, it's really hot though. Without further ado, we're gonna get started with some studying for finals. I just submitted our capstone project proposal and here's the current situation. It's midnight. I should go sleep. I would like to go sleep, but we're not gonna do that. I will most likely regret this decision tomorrow morning, but that's something that my future self is gonna have to deal with. I really am not trying to pull two all-nighters in a row, but I am trying to pass. And if that's what I need in order to pass this class, honestly, like I don't care. Once again, I'm aware. My future self is probably gonna regret this. But I don't care. I'm just going one day at a time and dealing with the consequences as they come. That is my motto. Also, I have to deal with all this lunchy. Unfortunately, things did not go as I was hoping <laughs> and I might be a little screwed now. I meant to take a nap, which I know I should not have because I have a really bad track record, but I couldn't stay up anymore. The worst part is I did wake up, but then I saw the time and for some reasons my brain decided that we did not need to wake up at 3.30 and we could instead sleep a little longer. And now it is 2 p.m. My exam is tomorrow in exactly 24 hours and 7 minutes. I have everything printed out. I just wish I had a stapler. I feel like I do somewhere, but I do not want to do e like anymore. But it's okay because in 24 hours, I hopefully will never have to do this type of e like ever again. Before I get started with this though, I'm going to make some flashcards because a little bit of theory. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't enjoy you like or you don't want to know about this. But in continuous time signals and systems, you have properties of signals and systems. In theory, I know them, but they confuse me a lot. Signals and systems have the same types of properties, but depending on the type of system slash signal, the way each property is defined kind of changes. And yeah, I tend to confuse them. So I'm going to make flashcards to review those.
flashcards are all done. I think I need to add some graphs on these, but I'll get on that a little later. Because now it is time to do the thing I was dreading the most, which is to actually solve elect problems. grossly underestimated the amount of time it would take to go through two chapters worth of problems and I don't think that's realistic anymore there's 18 hours left I'm starting to get a little bit anxious regarding whether or not I can actually finish solving these problems so I'm gonna put those aside and instead work on some of the handouts that we were given throughout the semester sleep i tried i couldn't i laid down in bed but it's fine now it's time to go to school <laughs> do anymore. I feel ready, but also I feel like I'm missing something. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And let's go ahead and start your life exam. Ooh.